Well, as you can tell, it's dark outside. Yeah, I think this is honestly the first night fishing video that I'm doing on the channel. And today's pace is gonna be a little different. Obviously, uh, as you guys can tell by the title, we're doing some trolling today. And this video is gonna be a little different than the others because I'm actually running a trip today. Um, I got two guys in the boat with me today. They wanted to do a night trolling trip and they were nice enough to allow me to do some filming for you guys while on their trip. So I set the GoPros up, I had a chesty on, and then I also had a GoPro on the windshield too as well throughout the entire trip. We got some nice fish, even a little bonus fish too that got thrown in there. Um, I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is because I don't wanna spoil it, but we overall had some fun and I don't really wanna waste too much time on this intro. I kinda wanna just get right into it because that's the reason why you clicked on this video. But before we do that, just wanna let you guys know if you are new here, please go down, smash the subscribe button down below. We do a lot of sweet walleye fishing content on this channel. Channel. We do all sorts of ice fishing too as well in the winter time and we're gonna be doing some hunting too this fall So if you're new here, definitely go down smash the subscribe button down below I'm Super excited to have gotten this channel where it is today and I'm excited to keep growing as well So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video Give you a nice fish here. Um, stand on this side and just keep reeling. You're doing good there. I'm gonna put this monster up here so it doesn't get spilled. First one. Board went back pretty good. It looks like it might be a nice one. Yeah, kind of went back slow and then all of a sudden just kind of. That's what we like to see. How's it feel? It's feeling pretty good in it. Yeah. You won't feel a whole lot until we get that board off, then you'll start kind of feeling the head shakes and stuff. But with the cold, with the water being so cold lately, these fish really haven't been fighting a whole lot. They just kind of feel like a freaking log coming That's in. Exactly what it feels like. Yeah. Reel down. There you go. Now you should be able to feel it a little better. How much you got on the clicker there? Left, okay. Oh yeah, there, he's right here. Just keep reeling, keep your rod tip up. Okay, back up a little bit and keep reeling at the same time. All right, got him. That's a nice one. Dude, that is a tank. <laughs> they get bigger. They definitely get bigger. It is a good one though. Good, good one to start with. You guys get to see how, how much progressively they get bigger yet. But I'll get a nice... I'll get my big camera, I'll get a nice picture for you. Yeah, so you can just send him over the side here. He should be all ready to go. Perfect. All right, first That's one's awesome. in the boat. Came on that pink lemonade. It's been a hot, hot commodity out here the last day or two. A lot of teeth marks in this one here. That one was probably, uh, uh, 22, 23 inch fish maybe. I'd say the best part is getting the hooks out of the net. It's gonna be a nice fish. We're just gonna take our time with it. 
It's always nice when they come on the inside board. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you don't have to cross over any of the other ones. And That's what I was worried about, tangling the line. Yep, it does happen. Oh, another oh, one. <laughs> oh, that one popped. Looked like that one was going. Yeah, that one took off pretty fast. That rod tip up. <laughs> All right, I'm starting to wonder if this is going to be a muskie or not. Just with the, the way it's pulling like that. I think you might be hooked into a Fox River muskie here. Keep reeling. All right, it's you and the fish. It's a muskie. Is it? Yeah. Definitely got a muskie here. Okay. Yep, just like that. Let me get her get her a little closer yet. Okay, back up. Oh my God. <laughs> you got a muskie, brother? Hell yeah. Thank you. I'm going to get the hooks out of her okay. while she's still in the net here. Do I need to hold that? Yeah, hold on to that net. Okay, have you ever held a muskie before? No. Okay. So we got to be very careful with her. We can't drop her. Okay. So I'm going to have you sit down there. Um, keep your fingers out of her gills. Okay. We don't want to pull any of her gills or anything. We want to make sure she can get back safely. Are okay, you ready? There you go. She's got your fingers in there. Yep. Keep it out of her gills. Hold her just like that. Cool. Crazy. Right. Yeah. We're going to get her put back here. She can. Right. All right. Fuck yeah. There she goes. Awesome. Woo. Hey, nice work, dude. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a nice awesome. Musky. Your first musky? The first ever musky. <laughs> You're a first. Like yeah, when, uh, when I started seeing those head shakes, I knew. I was like, yeah, I don't think it's going to be a walleye. <laughs> you just run into them when you're out here walleye fishing. Yeah. That thing was so happy. Yeah, it's always a fun, nice little <laughs> bonus fish, you know? A few moments later. Slowly but surely, we're making it happen tonight. Oh yeah, boys. it's gonna happen. Grind. It is a grind today. And that southeast wind is definitely not super great. How's it feeling? It's way too good. Good. Pulled the board back pretty well. Yep. Step back a little bit. All right. Bring them up on this side. There we go. Yeah. There you go. She's good size. Very nice Fox River walleye. You want to hold her? No. Picture? No? Good. good? All right. Back down. Looking for her mother. It's P10. You can find these at the Swamp Donkey Hut at Fox Point Boat Landing and the Replay Sports Bar location, too. Uh, this is a Viper Custom. This one, this one's been doing pretty good for us. I actually caught a 28 on this one a couple nights ago too as well. And we're trying to mimic that tonight, but awesome bait. And there's plenty left at the Swamp Donkey. That's, that's weird too, because I'm actually marking more fish on that side. <laughs> like look at all of them on the screen right now. Holy Yeah, he might be a, a lot Yeah, he might be a little bigger than the last one. Another nice fish though. As you can tell she's got a little belly on her. 
want a picture with that one or are you good? Good? All right. Throw her back. Get that bait back out. You can't get another one. Your side's been hot here. What we're using today too as well are these offshore planer boards. Uh, if you ever trolled before, you know what these are for. Basically just to push the line away from the boat kind of in an organized manner. And uh, when you're out here at night using planer boards, you wanna be sure that you add some lights to it. Uh, just so that you know where they are, you can see them and that other people know where they are and you're, they're not running them over on you. So what I did is I kind of just went on Amazon, bought some tea lights, I don't know, like 12 bucks per pack, bought some red and green ones, and then uh, super glued some clips, a clip to the bottom of that and a screw clip on the, the board itself so I can just snap that in and we're good to go. So add those to the boards once it gets a little dark outside just to be sure that people and ourselves can see that planer board a little easier. Ah, this one's... Oh, yeah. We are getting uh, cookie cutter fish tonight. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. Awesome. Sweet. All right, get them back. Just toss them back there. There he goes. Hey, awesome. nice work, man. Thank you. Pull the rod tip that way. Probably could have boat flipped them. That might have been why it felt a little heavier too. Caught that inside board. That custom. Is that custom painted one? Yep. Another nice fish though. Get this put back and we'll clean this mess up. Oop. One hour later. Well, time to go home. Overall, good night. We definitely grinded it out. We tried. Um, made a couple different passes, tried some different things, and got the fish that we managed to get. So I think we ended with like six, five or six walleyes, and then that bonus musky too as well. So they were happy, exciting. Um, Dennis was actually able to hook up on his first ever musky. Unfortunately, obviously they are out of season right now, um, but it was still a lot of fun for him to get that fish in the boat. Great memories too as well. So congratulations to Dennis. If you guys are interested in booking a trip, I do have dates available yet throughout the month of April and then going into May too as well so if you're interested in fishing with me we can definitely make that happen I'll link all my information and everything you need to know to book a trip down in the description but overall I don't think I have anything else to say I'm gonna finish packing up the boat here and then head on out I know there's some rain coming yet tonight and I want to make sure try to get this boat in the garage before it really starts to rain again this thing's been getting wet way too many times this week the conditions on the Fox River the conditions in Green Bay the conditions this spring have just been next to none i mean i wish it was better but unfortunately we're dealing with what mother nature is giving us and we're making the best of it so we've really been pulling some nice fish the last couple of nights and unfortunately this particular night we just couldn't make a big walleye happen but maybe next time hopefully if you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below if you did enjoy this night fishing video because i would definitely do more videos like this i know it's a little more difficult to see it's a little more difficult to film in general at night but if you guys are into this style of fishing and you want to learn a little more about it i can definitely do some more videos like this in the future so let me know in the comments down below if you like these night fishing videos thank you guys again so much for watching today's video be sure to go down and smash the subscribe button also give me a big thumbs up on this video too it definitely helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. <sighs> I don't think there's anything else to say. As always, keep living your dream, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.